Calls for the government to step in and assist Kenneth Stanley Jindo Matiba from financial woes received a boost after Deputy President William Ruto pledged that the government will bail out the former politician now resigned to life in one of his hotels in Mombasa. We come here to celebrate him and to celebrate the many things that uh, he has nurtured and fathered and helped this country achieve. Calls for the assistance of Matiba, who once vied for the presidency and emerged a strong second, first came from leaders from his Moranga County backyard who said the government should not sit as a politician's wealth dwindled due to misfortunes occasioned by his fall following the struggle for multi-party democracy. We'll also be moving to court to see how we can be able to secure a, a bit of some of the properties that they have lost. But we want to say that it is only fair for this country, whether it's about the banks or anything else. It is fair for this country we recognize that we have our heroes, we have people who have fought for the freedom that we are enjoying today. And as a government, it's a shame that no, our leaders have not thought about that hero. The national government is still working on the issue of heroes, national heroes, whether or not it will have a hero's corner for them or whether or not that's not going to happen because that has been discussed since 2003 when, uh, when uh, President Kibaki became president. But all of you know that nothing has happened, that nothing really has happened because even the hero's corner that was to be started somewhere in Nairobi, it is still work in progress. Matibo was pushed into opposition politics from the comfort of cabinet when he joined the struggle for the introduction of multi-party democracy in the early 90s, a move that saw him detained by the former regime of President Moy. Kenya had been a de jure single-party state for close to a decade before the agitation for multi-partism started in the late 80s. He vied for the presidency in the first multi-party elections in 1992, where he emerged second in polls won by Moy. And so when Ruto visited Matiba at his Mombasa hotel, years of toil for the country's democratic gains were visible on Matiba's face. Quiet yet jovial, the former firebrand politician received the news of the government's intervention. Edith Matiba, his wife, urging young leaders in the country to serve the country selflessly. Now I'm speaking as a mother to you. I would really hope that wherever you have been elected, you leave a mark that is lasting. Matiba suffered a stroke while in detention and was denied medication alongside fellow pro-democracy advocate Charles Rubia at Committee Maximum Prison. Upon his release from detention, Matiba had to seek medical attention abroad, a condition he has never recovered from. In the year 2000, Matiba released his autobiography, Aiming High. Chris Ongombe, Sunday Live.